If you read a lot of books, take notes on them and want a simple system to keep track of your books in Obsidian, this is the only video you will ever need. By the end of this video, you will be able to set up a book tracker that looks like this, where you can easily view the books that you are reading, books that you have not finished, books you have completed and books that you want to read in the future. If you are interested in creating a setup like this, then do watch the video till the end because I don't want you to miss any of these steps. Now let me show you how you can create a book tracker setup like this. First we'll learn about auto-populating book notes, then we'll talk about setting up status for book notes in order to track them, then we'll learn about using simple data view queries for tracking, then we'll use the card CSS for this cards look, and then we'll organize all of this in one place that will look like this by the end. So let's start with auto-populating. All of these book notes have a property. Now you can manually add these properties as well, but there's a better way that is by using the Comte plugin called as book source. Go to the settings, Comte plugins, go to browse and search for this plugin called as book source. With over 70,000 downloads, this plugin allows you to create book notes and insert book metadata from providers including Google Books and Never. Go to options and here you have these options to create new file location, new file name, template file. So let's start with the file location. I'll choose books for this. The name of the new book note will be title. If you want to make changes, you can also do it uh, by using these syntaxes. Then there is the option for template file. If you are using uh, some kind of template for book notes, then you can also specify it here. Uh, I don't have any template in this world, so I'll leave it default. If you want to see example template, you can click on this. And here you will have this example template, which you can take it as an inspiration. You can copy this and create a new template in your world from this text. And it's always better to create your own template because if you don't create a template file, then this plugin will add all the metadata that are available, which might also be unnecessary. So that might just clutter your uh, properties. So I'll create a template for books our template for book notes, create a new note, books, and you can add a property, title will be title, property author will be author. You can always view the variables and what they mean in the plugins documentation. If you go to the example template section, there's a, a link for template variables definition where you can learn more about these template variables. Let's add few more properties that will be helpful such as category, pages. I look for the variables for pages. I'll just write pages and use the variable total page, which is over here. Let me add some more properties such as published date. And you will need to choose these property type as text because this cannot be added in the number format and add a status which will be unread or you can write to read as well you can also add another property for rating the book like rating i already have the rating property in my book so it is displaying this autocomplete for now let's just start with this property one thing i forgot to add is the property for cover url so i'll write cover you can write cover URL or cover. I, I have been using cover URL in my notes, so it's showing cover URL. I'll just write cover URL so that it becomes easy to understand the data view queries in the latter part of the video. And cover URL will be this variable, cover URL. We'll be using this cover URL to display in our library, to display the book cover in our library. These are the main variables that we will be using. The new file location will be books, new file name will be title, template file is books. It's inside the templates folder, templates, books, service provider, Google, or you can choose Navier, which is Korean one. Then there are these other options, which I always let them be default. If you want to save these cover images, you can enable this option. I don't want that. Now we have finished the first step that is adding properties to our node or auto-populating our book notes. Let me create a new book now. I'll go to command palette and source for book source. You can also assign a hotkey, which I have assigned option B. I'll just click option B and here you have the book source model. 
Now I can search for any book as I said the power of now and it will display all of these books that are available from the Google library and you will need to select the book that you want. So this is the book by Edgar Tolle, The Power of Now, uh, 258 pages. The book node is created and this is automatically moved to the books folder. Let me sort these uh, by recently created. The Power of Now is here and there are no uh, properties visible over here because I have disable that option from the settings. All the properties are visible on the sidebar. Now this book has the status to read. Once you finish reading the book, you can write it as completed. That's what I'm using. If the book is unfinished and I did not complete the book, I use uh, unfinished status and completed for the book that I read and reading for the book that I'm reading right now. And in grading, I use the stars emoji. You can add five stars, five stars emoji in this rating property, or you can add four stars or you can add three stars like that. So that's all about status. We have finished the second step that is adding status to our books. Whether we are reading the book or whether we have put the book into read ladder list or whether we have already completed the book. Now we will use simple data view queries for tracking books. Let me create a new note reading list tracker for this you will need to install the data view plugin and i hope you already have installed it so let's start the data view query we'll create a table format and we'll query notes from book stack all of the book notes in my personal world are tagged with the book hashtag right now we do not have that hashtag in our template but you can also use the folder query such as table from you can use the book folder books and it will still render these files from this folder. You can add the tag book to the book template for easier categorization of nodes. If I go to preview or reading mode, it will list all of these files in table and it only has one column. Now let us create another column for the cover URL. If you go to the book node that we created, it has cover URL and it has a link to the cover URL. Now we will embed this cover URL in our data view result. Let's start with parenthesis, double quote, and we'll use the embed inside here, and it will be linked to cover URL property from our node. Now if I go to preview, it will render this cover URL and the title is this. Now we can change it. Table, data view table, the cover URL render as cover. Now if I go to preview, it will have, the column will have a different name that is cover. Now add, let us add few more columns such as pages. We can write pages. Let me go to our book note and see, I use total page for tracking the number of pages in my personal world and all of these nodes I have moved from my personal worlds uh, to the Patreon members world. So I'll be using that instead of the template that I created where I only had the pages property. Okay. I'll need to change that total page as pages. If I go to preview, you can see the total pages are visible now and you can add author as author. I still need to see the property for author that is author. So get back to reading list tracker that I'm creating right now. Let's just finish with these four columns for this video. We have a data view query in a table format with these four columns cover, a pages, author and the title. And all of these nodes have this book tag. And if you go to preview, it looks like this. And this is not the setup that I showed you initially in the beginning of this video. We have a cards view. We can make that possible with the help of minimal themes card CSS. Right now I'm using the border theme, but if I go to appearance, go to manage and install the minimal theme, install and use, it is still not showing uh, the cards view. The way you show it is by adding a property CSS classes and card CSS. Now you can see the cards view of the data view query is visible. But if you are not using minimal theme and you prefer using other themes, then there's also a workaround. That is by copying these CSS snippets from minimal theme. You can search for obsidian 
minimal theme and you'll have this github repository for obsidian minimal theme go to this src folder then css then main.css and source for cards over here and you'll need to create a new css file for your vault by copying this code from here if you don't want to do all of this work i will share this css snippets along with the whole demo world that I'm creating with all the book notes from my personal world, you can get them on my Patreon. So I'll use the border theme again. If I don't add the card CSS, then they will uh, have the default look. You can enable the CSS snippets by going to appearance, go to card CSS, and you can see all of the CSS that are available. I'm using card CSS and tab co tabbed callout. Uh, you can click on this CSS snippet folder and it will open the CSS snippet. You'll need to create a new file from here and add the code that you copied from the GitHub repository. I already have the card CSS, so I don't need to do that. Once you have added the CSS, you'll need to enable it and add the card CSS in your node. Now, this is what our reading list will look like. But now it has a list of all the books in our world. And we do not have a section to differentiate the books that we are reading, books that we have read, and books that we want to read. We can make that possible with the help of data view query. Let's create a data view query for books that have completed status. Let me go back to our reading list tracker. And here we can add more to the data view query. Create a data view table uh, from book tag where contains status is completed now if i go to preview it will only have a list of books that i have already completed similarly you can create other data view queries where the status is reading now if i go to preview this here is the data view query for the books that I have already completed and this here is the data view query for books that i am reading right now now we have finished the third part that is making our book library a little more beautiful with the help of this card css from minimal theme now we will need to do one final step that is to bring all of these in one place if you go to the reading list node that i showed you in the beginning of this video it has all of these section where you can click on the section and it will display the books that you're reading currently if you click on unfinished it will uh, show you unfinished books with the data view query completed and to read now let's learn how you can create this and for this you will need to use a custom css snippet this is all possible with the help of css the css snippet was shared by this user Firals good in discord and i have made some customizations to this css to make it better if you want this CSS, you can get it from the link in the description. But if you want the customized one that looks like this, you can get it from my Patreon. So you can just copy this code from GitHub or you can download the CSS snippets from my Patreon and you will need to add a CSS snippet to your balls snippet folder. I already have it here, tapped callout. Now let's learn how you can create a tapped callout with the ability to quickly toggle between these different data view queries. If you go back to Discord, it will also have this markup you can copy this markup and I'll create a new note now. Reading library and paste the markup over here. Now, if I go to preview, it will look like this. One, two, three. Now, there are only three tabs right now. You can add as many tabs as you want by copying this. Just add it over here and if I go to preview, you will have these four columns. You can rename the column. The label of this column will be after this label. Here you can write, for example, currently reading. Now here you will need to write the data view query. Let me create one, okay? You'll need to write this double sign to make the data view query inside this tab. So I'll write the data view query, data view, Will be table. I'll just paste the query for columns and from book 
with contains status is reading with capital R. Now if I go to preview, the data view query is visible inside this tab. I need to remove these three backticks at the end of this query. If I go to preview, now it has uh, the currently reading tab has these nodes. If you go to tab two, it will display these. Tab three will display these. Now this is displaying this in the table format. We can add CSS classes, cards, and it will look like this. Now let's rename this second column. Second column will be unfinished, and you will need to copy this our data view query add it over here and where the status contains you can write unfinished I'll just copy this column in the third tab as well as fourth tab if I go to reading mode now you can click on these tabs and, and this will display different results now these three tab here we have not uh, changed it, their names and the status also status is let's say to read and let's write the label as to read status let's write completed for the fourth tab and status contains completed so I go to preview now the currently reading tab has these five books unfinished has these books to read will have these books completed will have this book so this is a really cool way to organize your book notes and keep track of the books that you are reading you can easily view the books that you're reading, books that you want to read and books that you have already completed. I'll be sharing this vault in my Patreon so that you can get it along with the, all the CSS snippets that are used in this vault. You will also be able to access uh, these book notes from our uh, different books that I have completed. So that's all for this video. I hope you found a lot of value in this video. If you want to support me for creating more content like this, you can do so by my Patreon. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.